Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Quick Shop Remake plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin which allows your users to really easily create a buy or sell shop in order to either make money or get items they want, as well as your admins to create unlimited shops for people in spawn to buy whatever they may need. And it's super easy, literally one click and one uh, text chat is all you need to create one of these shops. Now I have a few examples here, this one is obviously uh, an admin shop, so this one is selling unlimited dirt for $5 each, so any other person on the server can come up to it, right click, and they will be able to buy this. Now this one is created by myself, as you can see, I'm selling three diamonds, and then they are $120 each. Now once all those three are bought, it will say out of stock, and I will have to physically come up to it and pop, put more diamonds in, as you can see. And if you put five in, it will say there's a stock of five. Same thing happens for the saplings, and they are $15 each. And then over here, it says I'm buying 1,718 gold blocks for $500 each. Now, if I take some of these out, that number will increase. So if I want to sell some redstone, all I need to do is left click a chest, and it will say enter in chat how much you wish to trade one redstone dust for. Let's put $50. Now once I've done that, it will create the chest. You can see the item hovering above it. It will create a sign in front of it and it will say out of stock. So obviously you need to pop items in there and it will say selling 64 for $50 each. Now what we can do is simply right click this sign and in chat we can change so many different things about it without actually typing any commands. So unlimited, if we were an admin, we could tick that box to create an admin shop and now it's selling unlimited redstone for $50 each. Obviously if we didn't want that we could switch back to particular owner such as myself and then we could obviously turn off unlimited too. Now always counting, should the shop always count how many uh, contents are in the chest, yes or no? And then down here the shop mode you can set to buying if you want or selling. Now the price if you're not happy with it uh, you can increase that if you want like so. And then refill you can click OK and refill a certain amount so obviously put a number in here and that will increase it by 100. Obviously only admins will be able to do these certain commands so they aren't just giving themselves loads of items and then you can also clean out the inventory as well. Now what you could do is quick shop buy if you wanted to change that to buy, quick shop sell, if you wanted to change it to sell. Obviously I prefer right clicking and then just clicking in chat, that's much easier than typing. But one cool command they have is the quick shop find. Now if I wanted to find redstone, it will say there is a nearby shop at these coordinates, four blocks away, but unfortunately they are out of stock. Now what I could do is refill this one and then type the same command and it says they are selling a hundred and it tells me exactly where it is. If I do the same for diamond, you don't even have to type it all, you can just type the first few letters. And if I type just D, let's see what happens. So anything that has a D in, uh, which turns out to be most things. You can obviously transfer someone's shops to someone else. So QS transfer, if you wanted to, to uh, my other account, for example, but he, uh, isn't currently online and you could do that uh, for one chest or all of them and you can see they all show a new owner now. So that is how it works in game as you can see it's super simple to set up really easy and highly customizable um, without having to learn how to do loads of complex commands. So here we are in the SMP control panel and the main place we want to go is simply the config.yml. Now this is a little bit big but there's not too much here you want to change. We've got the game language, enabled languages if you want to change that for example. Do you want to add a tax? So when you buy something or have something sold, you're paying tax just like in real life. And then scroll down the tax account, um, that could be a fake player or yourself if you really want, that would be interesting. Um, do you want everything to be logged in this file here so you can see what has been bought and sold? Various limits, how many shops can a player make? So make sure you set this to true um, in order for the uh, limits to be set. Um, and then if you have a certain permission, you can make up to 20 maybe higher ranked players or admins. Now only these three blocks can be used as shop blocks, so we saw chests, but you could use a trapped or ender if you really wanted to. 
And then disable creative mode trading, obviously you know, people could abuse that so you might want to get rid of that as well. And then do you want to allow the owner to break the shop sign as well? FIFA price change, yes or no? And do you want to set that? And then the interactions we have, so sneak to create, trade, control, how do you want it to work with players? Do you want the sign to glow? And there's lots of stuff like that that you can customize here. You could obviously tweak a couple of values in there, but overall it's ready to go out the box. So this is the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.15 to 1.19. And there is in fact a ton of features, ton of commands. You can really dive deep into it, loads of different permissions. Um, depends how complex you want to go with it. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.